Hey everyone, Anna Kruger here, and today we're going to talk through three questions you can ask yourself when you're feeling very overwhelmed. All right, have you ever had one of those days where you just feel like you're stuttering and that is not your norm? Thinking, what was that thing I was about to say? Or what was that word I just had in my head? I completely forgot. Well, that can be a sign that your brain is in overwhelm. So how do you fix it so you can get back to being productive and thinking clearly? Well, I have good news for you. There are three questions that you can ask yourself. Usually this takes about 15 minutes or less. And so far in the last seven years, I've been using this with coaching clients. We have yet to have it not work. It has worked every single time. So what are the questions? Number one, what's going on? And essentially this is a brain dump. Grab a piece of paper and you're gonna start bullet pointing every single thing that's on your brain. It could range from pick up dog food to schedule the doctor's appointment to something business related, you know, put the listing in the MLS. Every single thing that's on your mind, get it down onto a list. The second thing you're gonna do is prioritize, and this has two steps. The first step of prioritizing is clump things together. What do I mean by that? Well, maybe when you did your brain dump for number one, you put down things like negotiate the offer on 123 Main Street, work on the offer for Forest Hills Drive. Well, really that's one thing, right? It's negotiating offers. So you're gonna clump those together to reduce the list. Then you're going to ask yourself, what of this is most important? So all of that is part of number two. So part of number two, what, what really matters, you're gonna go through and put all the things that are like together. And then secondly, you're going to prioritize that list. What's most important? The question we like to ask is Gary Keller's famous question from the one thing. What's the one thing that by doing it would make everything else easier or unnecessary? A little pro tip for you when coaching people, when we say what's the number one thing that would make everything else easier or unnecessary, they frequently add to the list, go to bed on time. So there's a little pro tip for you. All right, the third thing you're going to do is decide, am I going to dump it, delegate it, or do it? So what's dump it? Dump it would be, hey, this is a great idea. It does not need to happen, or it doesn't need to happen now. So maybe there's something on your list that could actually wait three months. We're gonna dump that off the list for now, or dump it all together. The second option is to delegate it. So who else could do this for you? Or what app could you use? I use the Target app all the time when I need to run to the store. The Target app has saved me time. And then the third thing is do it. So anything after you've dumped it or delegated it is now your to-do list. So you're gonna go to your calendar and start putting those things in there. One client had about a 60 hour work week when we hopped on the phone, he was overwhelmed. By the time we were done this activity, about 15 minutes later, he saved himself about 20 hours of time from clumping things together, prioritizing, and then delegating. So again, the three questions. Number one, what's going on? That's your brain dump. Number two, what really matters? And that's where you start to prioritize and put things together. And then number three is dump, delegate, or do. I guarantee you, if you do this activity and you're feeling overwhelmed, you will not feel overwhelmed at the end. Give yourself 15 minutes to clear your brain and get back to production. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And I would love for you to join me tomorrow, October 13th, for a webinar all about how to increase your signing ratio. If you're already meeting with someone, let's get them to hire you. Join us tomorrow. I hope to see you there.